what is the best advice that you've received? And can you share that with us? Well, I think if you can invest and compound that investment. You, you make 8% and you take 4% and, and put it into the next investment, which is not easy. The best thing I can say is treat your employees in a holy way, in a beautiful way. Expect them to work hard, but also make sure that they do well. Thank you, Mayor. That's great advice. Thank you. Charlie, I'm sure you have. Well, I think I have an everlasting recipe, and that is to cope with whatever comes and work very hard at being rational. I really think if you talk about evil and mischance in the world, more trouble is caused by stupidity than is caused by malevolence. And so working constantly on the stupidity side of things is hugely constructive, and it's fun, too. There's so much asininity out there, you can go hang out. And it's kind of fun to bat it down and, and serve the rational outcomes. So uh, I think if you just cope with what comes and try and be rational all the way, that's all it's given us to do. Thank you. Stuart. Yeah, I think a um, bit of advice that I had that, that I try to look at is everybody's always looking at the upside. And I found that, you know, you have plans and the plans never work, okay? Let's, you know, sometimes they're better, sometimes they're worse. But I think the important thing is you worry about the downside. If you don't lose any money in, in, in any investments or businesses, that's a big benefit. I mean, if you make 15%, it's great, but if you make 7%, it's not so bad, but if you lose 20%, it's very hard to make that up. So when I look at a deal, I say, okay, I understand the upside, you know, tell me about the upside, that's interesting. What's the downside? What's the worst that can happen within reason? And that's what I look at, to make sure that you don't get burned. And I've been burned, but uh, hopefully not too often. We have learned so much today. We have been so inspired through your wisdom and everything that you've shared about your wealth, your life, and your stories. So thank you so much for being here today. Thank you.